I will also stretch out mine hand upon Judah, and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and I will cut off the remnant of Baal from this place, and the name of the Chamarims with the priests. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. And I will destroy your high places, and cut down your images, and cast down your carcasses upon the carcasses of your idols, and my soul shall abhor you. And you say, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God to the mountains, and to the hills, to the rivers, and to the valleys. Behold, I, even I, will bring a sword upon you, and I will destroy your high places. And your altars shall be desolate, and your images shall be broken. And I will cast down your slain men before your idols. Thus saith the Lord God, I will also destroy the idols, and I will cause their images to cease out of Noph. And there shall be no more a prince of the land of Egypt, and I will put a fear in the land of Egypt. Their heart is divided. Now shall they be found faulty. He shall break down their altars. He shall spoil their images. And all the graven images thereof shall be beaten to pieces. And all the hires thereof shall be burned with the fire. And all the idols thereof will I lay desolate. For she gathered it of the hire of a harlot. And they shall return to the hire of a harlot. And the Lord hath given a commandment concerning thee, that no more of thy name be sown. Out of the house of thy gods will I cut off the graven image and the molten image. I will make thy grave, for thou art vile. Then ye shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you, and destroy all their pictures, and destroy all their molten images, and quite pluck down all their high places. Ye shall utterly destroy all the places, wherein the nations which ye shall possess serve their gods, upon the high mountains, and upon the hills, and under every green tree. But ye shall destroy their altars, break their images, and cut down their groves. But thus shall ye deal with them. Ye shall destroy their altars, and break down their images, and cut down their groves, and burn their graven images with fire. And ye shall overthrow their altars, and break their pillars, and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods, and destroy the names of them out of that place. Thou shalt not bow down to their gods, nor serve them, nor do after their works but thou shalt utterly overthrow them and quite break down their images. And ye shall make no league with the inhabitants of this land. Ye shall throw down their altars, but ye have not obeyed my voice. Why have ye done this? And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Take thy father's young bullock, even the second bullock of seven years old, and throw down the altar of Baal that thy father hath, and cut down the grove that is by it. And your altars shall be desolate, and your images shall be broken, and I will cast down your slain men before your idols. In all your dwelling places the city shall be laid waste, and the high places shall be desolate, that your altars may be laid waste and made desolate, and your idols may be broken and cease, and your images may be cut down, and your works may be abolished. And I will also give thee into their hand, and they shall throw down thine eminent place, and shall break down thy high places. And they shall strip thee also of thy clothes, and shall take thy fair jewels, and leave thee naked and bare. And the high places of Isaac shall be desolate, and the sanctuaries of Israel shall be laid waste. And I will rise against the house of Jeroboam with the sword. Above when he said, Sacrifice an offering, and burnt offerings, and offering for sin thou wouldest not, neither hadst pleasure therein, which are offered by the law. Saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. Saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. He will swallow up death in victory, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from off all faces, and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth, for the Lord hath spoken it. 
The beast that thou sawest was, and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit, and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder, whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was, and is not, and yet is. And the beast that was, and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. And I took your sin, the calf which ye had made, and burnt it with fire, and stamped it, and ground it very small, even until it was as small as dust. And I cast the dust thereof into the brook that descended out of the mount. And all the people of the land went into the house of Baal, and break it down. His altars and his images break thee in pieces thoroughly, and slew Matan, the priest of Baal, before the altars. And the priest appointed officers over the house of the Lord. He removed the high places, and broke the images, and cut down the groves, and break in pieces the brazen serpent that Moses had made. For unto those days the children of Israel did burn incense to it, and he called it Nehushtan. And also Makkah, his mother, even her, he removed from being queen, because she had made an idol in a grove, and Asa destroyed her idol and burnt it by the brook Kidron. The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms, and he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall say, Destroy them. Then all the people went to the house of Baal, and break it down, and break his altars and his images in pieces, and slew Matan, the priest of Baal, before the altars. For he took away the altars of the strange gods and the high places, and break down the images, and cut down the groves. And when Asa heard these words in the prophecy of Oded, the prophet, he took courage and put away the abominable idols out of all the land of Judah and Benjamin, and out of the cities which he had taken from Mount Ephraim, and renewed the altar of the Lord that was before the porch of the Lord. Now when all this was finished, all Israel that were present went out to the cities of Judah, and break the images in pieces, and cut down the groves, and threw down the high places and the altars out of all Judah and Benjamin, in Ephraim also and Manasseh, until they had utterly destroyed them all. Then all the children of Israel returned, every man to his possession, into their own cities. And he took away the strange gods, and the idol out of the house of the Lord, and all the altars that he had built in the mount of the house of the Lord, and in Jerusalem, and cast them out of the city. For in the eighth year of his reign, while he was yet young, he began to seek after the God of David his father. And in the twelfth year he began to purge Judah and Jerusalem from the high places, and the groves, and the carved images, and the molten images. And they break down the altars of Balaam, and the images that were on high above them he cut down, and the groves, and the carved images, and the molten images. He break in pieces, and made dust of them, and strode it upon the graves of them that had sacrificed unto them. And he burnt the bones of the priests upon their altars, and cleansed Judah and Jerusalem. And so did he in the cities of Manasseh, and Ephraim, and Simeon, even unto Naphtali, with their mattocks round about. And when he had broken down the altars and the groves, and had beaten the graven images into powder, and cut down all the idols throughout all the land of Israel, he returned to Jerusalem. And also concerning Makkah, the mother of Asa the king, he removed her from being queen, because she had made an idol in a grove, and Asa cut down her idol, and stamped it, and burnt it at the brook of Kidron. And they arose, and took away the altars that were in Jerusalem, and all the altars for incense took they away, and cast them into the brook of Kidron.